how do you get past being kind of scared to reach out or communicate with spirit? That's such a great question. First, I want to say there's nothing to fear at all. So you may not believe that because you have the fear and you may have had some experiences in your life that were fearful. And so you might be predisposed to having anxiety around it. But let me just be the first one to say there is nothing to fear. I am presently in a program called the Intuitive Intensive. We are actually running this program, my friend Trisha and I. We've got 145 students. It's fan freaking fantastic. Don't get me started. But it's all about intuition and opening up these abilities. And the first two to three weeks, all we talk about is getting in touch with who it is that you truly are. Because without understanding that you are in the power position, that you truly have the power and ability to cause your environment, your experience, and everything in it to include actual physical people and experiences, but also spiritual, energetic, entity-type experiences. If you don't understand that you have the power to call all of that into alignment according to your intention, then you shouldn't be playing around with spirit communication. You shouldn't be getting out a Ouija board or getting out your pendulum if you're afraid, because that fear is a signal, and it's strong especially if it's something deep rooted because you come out of religion and you are are always told like I was demons, 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 Satan, Satan, Satan. And you've got this programming that is deep within you. That's ancient. It's old. It's also strong. So before moving to spirit communication, you've got to do the work of understanding why it is that you are empowered and entitled to rendezvous and interact fully with the world of spirit. You are. You are the creator of your life and you're magical. You sent yourself here in order to have this full experience, not as a limited 3D human being, but as a human being who is magical and who has access to infinite resources and who can also manifest exactly what they want, whether that is prosperity, health, wellness, relationships, or intuitive abilities, spirit communication, channeling, inspiration from above. If you don't know that you know that you know that you are in the power position to call all of these things into alignment with the intention that you have for yourself, then you shouldn't begin. Your work is in understanding yourself first. Your work is in understanding just how powerful you are, where you come from, why you were created in the first place, what you're capable of. When you're there, When you understand, okay, I'm going to do this thing. I'm going to practice this channeling. I'm going to meditate for an hour. I'm going to open myself up to divine inspiration. When you're there, but you're also in your power, that's high vibration. That's another way of saying high frequency. That's another way of saying that's God energy. That's God magnetism. And when you're God magnetic, no lower entities can, they can't abide it. They might step to it. They might try it, but they cannot abide it because the signature is too strong. But it has to be there. You have to know who you are before you start venturing into spirit communication. And when you know who you are, it roots out all the other stuff. Let me tell you, you may think you know who you are. And you do. And maybe you believe in dominion, which I talk a lot about. And if you haven't heard me talk about it, you better hear about it. It's on my YouTube video. You should check it out. But if if you're if you understand who you are and that you're sovereign and that you're in command of it because the consciousness having the experience is in control of the experience, you will then potentially have an interaction with the world of spirit and it might freak you out. That's okay. We're human. I've had plenty of strange experiences that freaked me out for a, a second or two for a minute or two. And when I was first starting out for a while, okay, blankets over my head a little bit until I got a, I got a hold of myself and reminded myself of who I was in that scenario. But with practice, like doing it once, twice, three times and demonstrating to yourself that when you get into your power, spirit responds always. Then you can become emboldened because you've seen the principle work. I have... A friend of mine in Denver, his name is Charles Cox. He runs one of the largest or the largest medium circle or development circle in Denver. And he tells a story of coming home after like working at a seance or something. I don't know what he was doing. Comes home and he walks 
to his bedroom and there in the hallway, this dark hallway, there's this apparition of something that looks very frightening. But Charles is a real OG. He's been around these streets for a long time. <laughs> he's, been long, he's been around for a long time. And he's just like, can't be bothered. Just walked on by it into his bedroom, took a shower, did what he had to do, went to bed. Not a problem. Now, 20 years previous, it might have startled him. He might have said, what's that? But now after he's demonstrated to himself time and time again that he's the one with the power, he doesn't care about that. And that's how it works. So long way to answer your very good question. Deal with yourself first and your power. And then you move on to spirit communication because every, because the entities and the energies that you deal with at that point are going to be higher vibration. And if something lower enters into the experience, it very quickly leaves because you command it to or because it's like, deuces, I don't want to be here. To learn more about me, the services I offer, and also my online spiritual community, please visit me at crystalancompton.com. See you there.